Through the Ages is one of the best tutorials I've ever played. It's funny, it's effective, but unfortunately it's very long. We're going to jump in in this video straight into the gameplay to get you a sense of how to play those first critical turns in the first age. We'll play up until the deaths of the first leaders. We'll start with a local game. We'll make it a custom challenge. We're going to start over. I'll play against green with just the basic rules and the basic game here so that it's not too complicated. So right off the hop, you can see I get to go first. And the first option I have before me is just one civil action. So I can take a leader in the green cards. I can take a wonder, the purple cards, or I can take the yellow cards. The yellow cards are by far the worst because they're just temporary boosts, which um, I can use in the following phase. The leaders, because I get first crack, I get a really good chance to build um, in a certain direction. I love Aristotle. He gives me a science bonus, so I'm going to go that way. So that's it. That's the first turn. Now it goes to my opponent. He also gets um, two actions this time, so he's taken Hammurabi. He can't put him into play just yet, since it's the first turn, uh, but uh, he will certainly be putting him in soon. So my first play here, now I've got four civil actions, two military actions. You see that on the bottom right corner with those little white and red balls. Um, I've got despotism as my government, everybody starts that way. And so you can see that's where that comes from. So we'll get Aristotle into play. With Aristotle, every time I take a tech card, um, I score one. So unfortunately, I'm in a terrible, it's all yellow cards, so I can't really do much there. That's unfortunate. Um, the very first play that almost everybody will make is to build bronze. It costs two, um, but then for the rest of the game, I'll produ be producing one extra bronze. You can see here, these are the different buildings that I have the opportunity to build to um, populate at the start. So right now I have two workers in agriculture, two work three workers in bronze, one worker in philosophy, which is my science score, and I don't have anybody in religion. So um, th one of the most important elements of the game is to make sure your workers are always happy. The main aim of the game is to score the most culture points. So in essence, you want to keep your society happy. Religion is one way to do that. There are multiple ways to win in this game. You can win through military, you can win through science, you can win through wonders, you can win through colonization, uh, through the highest technology, or you just steal points from your opponent um, if you build a strong enough military. So. Um, I'm not seeing a lot of hope for a wonder, so engineering genius is a bit of a, a waste. So I think I'll pick up a rich land. Um, wow, there's really not much here. Cultural heritage um, gives me a science and four culture points. It's too early for culture points, but that science is a nice bonus, so we'll go for that. Jump straight into my opponent's turn. Um, you can see I get two cards at the end of my turn because I had two military actions left over. So, and he'll get the same on his turn. Now there's also a set of cards. Um, we're getting into the stage soon where uh, political actions are going to be played. So we can zip over to Green's board and see what he's done. This is called scouting. You wanna make sure that uh, you know what he's up to. So he did the same opening move with bronze. We can also skim across his warriors. He still has one. So um, at this stage, uh, you can see I can play Crusades. Uh, we're both at one, so I think I'll do that. And Crusades basically is the strongest civilization scores four, weakest loses four. So that can be, at the end of the game, uh, quite an important difference. So I can build an AJ temple if I have a worker idol. I do not. So often early game, it's good to get a worker idol. Um, so I don't have a choice there. And to get a worker idol, you basically just need to pay them with food, like so. And then they will sit on your docks until you assign them. It's going to cost me $3 to put them um, somewhere. So at this point, um, I probably want to get my happiness going. Uh, give me a culture point as well. So we'll start with that. Um, I can play a tactics card now, which means when I get uh, an infantry and cavalry together, I get an extra two points there. Um, but because the card, I'm not really seeing a lot. I can take this drama that scores me an extra science. Um, I think I will do that because you want to play to whatever benefit you get. So I'll get two cards here for military. Drama's gonna set me up. So really I'm looking at a, a culture and science sort of development here. Whatever path you take, you tend to um, develop that singular path because it's too expensive to diversify too much. So the development of warfare on my turn, I can build a warrior unit for free if I have an idle worker. I do have an idle worker, he does as well. So he's going for swordsman. So I need to be very 
cautious. He's also got iron set up nice and early. I need, there's only two irons in the, the card row, so I need to get the second one. Uh, he won't be able to take it. But um, So for politics, I'm going to risk there being a, a weak society. No, okay, it wasn't there, so um, I can score um, science, food, and uh, money, which is great. I, I do not have a worker, so I can't do anything there. So it um, would behoove me to take more uh, tech cards, but they're just not coming up. So this really isn't working out too well for me. Um, so I can, I can do my um, cultural heritage and score some science. Um, I'm going to need to spend some money here. Otherwise, I'm going to end up with some corruption. So um, I think I'll put that straight into philosophy and start to compound my interest there. Um, I don't often go for this, but I think this game I might take Theocracy. I'd like to show you how the new government works. Um, you can see on the Theocracy card, it's gonna cost me six science to develop that peacefully, which means um, just one civil action and six science, or I can spend underneath, there's a one in the darker blue there. That means I can spend all of my civil actions and essentially cheat that play out so I can, I can jump to that early. So next turn, I could actually um, do fairly well on that. I'm just going to play a tactics card here um, so I don't need to throw one away. The enemy can't use that tactics card yet until it becomes a common tactic. Once it becomes common, then we can both use it. So he's going for swordsman. Um, his people are somewhat unhappy here, so he needs to correct that problem or he's not going to have any production. So number one rule, always keep your workers happy in this game. You get into a loop where if you if you can't make them happy, then they don't produce and then you don't have money to build another warrior. So now he can use that common tactic, uh, which could be problematic for me too. I'm going to need to um, begin to develop my army here. So I can't do a pol political action because he's stronger than I am. But I think I will develop Theocracy. I'm going to develop it peacefully for six because my science is in good shape. I can actually get um, drama going, but I think I better switch over to... Um, Wow, okay, I really need irrigation. Um, I'm gonna switch over to Genghis Khan because um, I need to start uh, for tactics purposes. I need to get um, another um, warrior in there. That puts me up to three. Now if I play this tactic, that gets me to five because Genghis Khan's bonus is that um, my infantry units can be considered cavalry. So even though I don't have cavalry, I've, I've essentially cheated that out. And next turn I could possibly use a raid against him. He's got two cards, so he could probably defend against it, but um, we'll see how that works out. So not a bad turn for me. It's um, I've got a better government now which is producing um, some military and an extra military action, so I'm going to get more military cards. So it's great if you can start to compound your advantages over your opponent. So he has tied me, so I cannot attack him anymore, so I'll have to skip that phase. And that becomes a common tactic as well. So we'll have to skip this phase and uh, irrigation. So you can see I'm only producing one food and uh, that can be a problem for me later. So I better get some irrigation going and we'll develop that with rich land. So that card is now coming um, to help me. So um, I've already got iron going, which is, um, oh no, I do not have iron going. So that is gonna be a priority. I'll get that there and next turn I'll have three plus two iron or science so I can produce that so that is the end of the turn um, I'm going to face corruption there's nothing I can do about that because I didn't spend enough of the resources sitting around on my docks so but um, occasionally that that's a minor inconvenience you have to deal with in, in order to get a power play move so he's building his temple to take care of his happiness problem he's still um, he's, he's in pretty good shape across the board. You can see in the middle all of the bonuses, so occasionally throughout the game you're going to want to compare where you're at where you, with where your opponent is at. So um, I have four food with a plus two, and he's at plus one. I've got five iron with plus three, he's at plus three as well. Uh, I have plus two science with five on the bench, and he's at plus one, and uh, we're the same in culture. So I'm actually beating him in every category, and in military we're equal, so uh, I'm doing fairly well against this guy for now. Uh, because we're tied, I'm going to push another one out, so I'll shoot the rats out there, and that pushes that card out, which gives us two dollars, so I'm actually in really great shape on money. I might want to consider building um, a more expensive unit, or um, I think iron is probably the way to go. 
uh, so I can actually really power forward on my income. I, I should get some food out so that I don't get any corruption this turn. And I can do two soldiers and one cavalry. Um, so I don't have enough money to pull that off just yet, but I could probably get to that next turn. So we'll get rid of one of those. Having one card of each is nice because it gives me some options for the next round. So he's got his iron, he's trailing behind in just about everything. So because we're tied again, I'll probably want to push an event out. Um, and so that scores me culture. This is actually, I'll do this one. This one um, is a colony. And when that comes out, you get a chance to send soldiers out to try to claim that. So uh, we lose all food. He's lost more than me. So I knew that event was coming because I was the one who put that in there. Um, so at this point I've got a bit of money, I don't have a lot of food, I'm going to need to get my agriculture up uh, because I need to produce at least three food every turn so I can get a fella going. So knights are a great option because now I can permanently get that, that knight bonus. Um, but I need to be careful here because, um, actually you know what, I'm going to reverse that and in the di digital edition of the game you can undo all of your moves unless it's um, pushed a card out or something of that sort. I'm going to do swordsmen so I can start to um, elevate those swordsmen up to the next level. Next turn I'll have four science necessary. So you can see I'm starting to fall behind on my science so I'm going to need to um, make that switch so I'll pull alchemy there. This would be a great time to have my initial character but um, so this gets us um, I need to uh, get rid of some extra cards, so let's do that. You can only hold as many cards as you have military actions. So this gets us to age two. Um, we've cycled through two different leaders each, and we lose two yellow tokens from our bank, so I think this is a great place uh, to leave off for this game. Um, this has been Legendary Tactics. If the video has been helpful to you in working through some of the rationale of why you would make some strategies or some picks, then please like the video, subscribe. Uh, if, uh, if you're enjoying the content, come back for more. There's lots more through the ages to be had. Thanks for joining us.